Welcome to Aspire Test Prep's video on Division of Polynomials on the Redesign SAT. Aspire Test Prep offers online SAT and ACT tutoring for students and test prep classes for high schools. You can visit our website at www.aspiretestprep.com or call the phone number on the screen. Now, the way to take the best advantage of this worksheet is to go to our website Find the practice worksheet on division of polynomials, try the questions on your own, check your answers, and come back to this video for explanations on how to do any of the problems. If you have any questions, we're more than happy to receive your call or email. Okay, let's go ahead and check on the first question here. One thing we noticed when we go through uh, questions from the redesigned SAT is that there's a question type where synthetic division wouldn't work and long division is also a little questionable. I'll show you what I mean. Synthetic division says that we want to divide by the root. The root right here for 6x plus 3 would be found if we set it equal to 0 and solve for x. So 6x equals minus 3. If we subtract 3, divide by 6 x equals negative 3 over 6, which is the same as negative 1 over 2. If we were to do synthetic division, and we're going to go into more detail on how to do that in a little while, we would have negative 1 half right here, and we would be dividing 6x squared plus 9x plus 0 by that number. Bring down the 6, multiply and add, so negative 3 right here, 6, multiply and add, so negative 3, and then add straight down, minus 3. And the answer would have been 6x plus 6 minus 3 over whatever it was you divided by, which is 6x plus 3. The thing to notice is that that doesn't match any of the answers. And we didn't do anything wrong here. We simply used synthetic division. And for the type of setup that we're seeing on the new SAT, there are moments where it just doesn't work and a lot of really good students would, would run into a dead end. So we want to be well versed on how to do synthetic, which we're going to talk about more later, and also long division. Long division says, well for instance if I had 10 divided by 2 in classic long division that's 10 divided by 2. And the answer would be 5 because 2 times 5 is 10 and here you subtract and you get 0. We're going to do the same thing with this polynomial. We have 6x squared plus 9x plus 0, because we do want to account for the column that has just a constant with no x, and that's divided by 6x plus 3. And the way to do long division in this situation is to ask yourself, how many 6x's would I need to get 6x squared. In other words, what do I have to multiply 6x by to get 6x squared? And the answer is x, because 6x times x is 6x squared. Now we can multiply straight down, so x times 6x plus 3 is 6x squared plus 3x. Now when you do long division, you want to be really careful with signs. Signs are where a lot of the problems can happen. So we went ahead and wrote this plus sign, which normally you wouldn't write plus 6x squared because it's implied that it's positive. But here you want to write it. You want to write the original sign because when you get to the stage where you have to subtract, just like we did right here, the state after you go ahead and bring a number down, then you subtract it, right? Well, for polynomials, subtraction means flipping the sign, multiplying by negative 1. So the 3x becomes minus 3x, 6x squared becomes negative 6x squared, and now we add straight down, 9x minus 3x is 6x, and we're done right, at, right there at that stage. You bring down the next number, so 6x plus 0, and the question is, what do you have to multiply 6x plus 3, what, what do you have to multiply 6x by to get this 6x? And the answer, of course, is 1. So we'll just put a 1 right there, plus 1. And now you distribute the 1 to the 6x plus 3, which is really easy, 6x plus 3. And once again, we want to have a sign right here, even though normally there's no reason to have a sign there. But in our situation, we have to put a sign in order to then reverse that sign. 
So we're going to go ahead and flip this to a negative, flip this to a negative, and we have, as we add straight down, negative 3 right here, and 6x minus 6x becomes nothing. And so our answer is x plus 1 with a remainder of negative 3. But another way to write the remainder is it's that number over the thing you were dividing by, 6x plus 3. So the answer here is x plus 1 minus 3 over 6x plus 3. Why did long division work more than synthetic? Who knows? I really don't know. I just know that there's a situation that we're encountering on the new SAT that we want to prepare you for. When one thing doesn't work, you try the next thing in your arsenal, which in this situation is long division. Practicing that again, this is another problem where if we had tried the synthetic division, it wouldn't have worked. Um, but we'll go ahead and go right into the long division here. So you have 10y squared plus 15y plus 0 divided by 10y plus 5. So what do we have to multiply 10y by in order to get 10y squared? And the answer is by y. Now we distribute y into the 10y plus 5. When you do that, you get 10y squared plus 5y. We're going to include the sign because that's a special thing we have to do in long division of polynomials. The sign has to be there so that you can flip it. And we can take this sign and flip it. So as we add straight down, it's 15y minus 5y, which is 10y. 10y squared minus 10y squared, which is 0. That cancels away. And now we bring down the next number, which is simply 0. What do we have to multiply 10y by in order to get this 10y? Nothing, because we already have our number, so we're going to multiply by 1, because uh, that changes nothing. And now we're distributing the 1 into the 10y plus 5, 10y plus 5. We're writing the sign on the first term, because that's a special thing you have to do. And we're taking both of these and flipping the sign, flipping the sign, and we have minus 5. So the answer is y plus 1, remainder negative 5, or y plus 1, minus 5 over minus 5 over the thing that you're dividing by so our answer here would be a going over to number 3 now now these are situations where you can use synthetic division and whenever you can you should because there's no question that synthetic division is way easier than long division now, in synthetic division, the key is that you're dividing by not the factor, but you're dividing by the root. And how do we go back and forth between factors and roots? Let's just do a quick little side lesson on that real quick. Let's say that I had my equation y equals x squared plus 7x plus 10 and I want to find the solutions. The solutions in a quadratic are the places where it hits the x-axis. So to hit the x-axis you make y0, to hit the y-axis you make x0. So the idea here, and for most quadratics most of the time, is that you have to set the whole thing equal to 0. So if we go ahead and do that, pardon my computer for acting up, and if we do that, we have 0 equals all this stuff. And now we're factoring. We're looking for two numbers that add to 7 and multiply to 10. And those two numbers are 2 and 5. So this will factor into x plus 2, x plus 5. In other words, x plus 2 times x plus 5 would have given you x squared plus 7, x plus 10. Now, the zero product rule says if you have two things that multiply out to zero, then either of them could have been the zero. So we have to set them both equal to zero. That's the zero product rule. So x plus 2 equals zero. Take away 2 from both sides. x equals negative 2. x plus 5 equals zero. Take away 5 from both sides. x equals negative 5. So now we have x equals minus 2, x equals minus 5. The important thing here is to say that these are the roots, the answers, the solutions.
So minus 2 and minus 5. They're the roots. x plus 2, x plus 5, those are the factors. What we're talking about here is being really comfortable with the idea of going back and forth between the factors and the roots in either direction because in different situations we're required to go back and forth in different ways. When you do synthetic division, you're dividing by the root. Now, how did we get from the factor that we're being presented, x minus 4, to the root? Well, if we have this at the factor stage, the next step is to set it equal to 0, like we did right here, and then solve it. x plus, uh, plus 4 on both sides, x equals plus 4. So we went from the factor stage from the factor stage to the root stage. And when we do our synthetic division, we're going to go ahead and use 4 as the number in the box, the root. OK, so we have 4 right there. And then we have 2 and 3 because we have 2x plus 3. So we're going in order of degree bring down the first number and in synthetic division you multiply add multiply add here you only do it uh, one time multiply and add so our answer involves the 11 as the remainder 2 as our constant the number at the end and whatever number would have been right here would have had an x at the end of it whatever number would have been here would have had x squared whatever numbers here would have been x to the third. So we don't have any of those here, but it's important to know that that's how your answer lays out. So our answer is 2 remainder 11. Another way to say that is 2 plus 11 over the thing you're dividing by, which was x minus 4. That brings us to answer A. So let's practice that synthetic division on question 4 right here. So we have a factor of x plus 5, which is the thing we're dividing by. But in synthetic division, we need the root version of that. So like we said before, the key is to take it and set it equal to 0. Take away 5 from both sides, x equals minus 5. And that is our root. So we have minus 5 in the box and 7x plus 8 bring the 7 down, multiply, add, multiply, add, but here we only multiply and add once. So 7 times negative 5 is negative 35, adding straight down negative 27. And the answer is 7 remainder negative 27, or 7 and negative 27 over the thing we're dividing by in the root form, in the factor form, excuse me. So 7 minus 27 over x plus 5, choice B. And that brings us to the end of our lesson on, on division using synthetic and long division. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. If you're finding these videos useful, recommend our online tutoring to a friend or request that your school use Aspire Test Prep for an SAT or ACT online class. Thanks and have a wonderful day.